Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and today in this video I'll be talking about one of the polling that I initiated in LinkedIn a couple of days before asking can you access a private member of a class in c .net without reflection? The member can be a field, properties or method. And you can see that most of the answers that I received were no and some of them are yes, like 27% are yes and 73% are no. Well, that makes sense, right? Because this is a private member. How can you really access that if you asked me this question before dotnet 8 i would have said the answer as no as well like you but since dotnet 8 released the answer is absolutely yes you can access this with this new unsafe accessor attribute class as you can see over here so you can actually get the method details and also the members like field or static method everything using this unsafe accessor attribute of c sharp dotnet 8 so this is released in dotnet 8 it's not there in dotnet 7 as well so now you can access it and i will show you how it can be done much much easily so in order to do that i'm actually going to show you that i already have uh, dotnet 8 installed in my machine you can see that i have the dotnet 8 sdk and also the runtime which means i have dotnet 8 so i'm going to go and open the writer ide and i'm going to create a new solution and you can see that i'm going to choose the sdk as 8 and the framework is eight as well. And then I'm just gonna hit create. So this is gonna create a new project for me. Just gonna make this a bit expanded or maybe fully. And you can see that the rider ID is currently not supported for 8.0 version. I think the EAP version is supported. So I'm just not going to do it at the moment. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this version. All right, so I'm gonna quickly do this. I'm gonna show you how we can access a private variable or cannot access a private variable in c .net if I just use the private uh, keyword there. So I'm just gonna say public string get car model. I'm just gonna say as Honda. And then I'm also gonna say public string get car color as red. And I'm gonna say public string get the internal version. So I'm, this is not public. This is gonna be, let's assume, this is gonna be a private string that I have got over here. And I'm also going to say private string get internal, uh, I mean, car internal details. And then I'm going to say never reveal to anyone. So this is the method that I have got. So this is like there is a two uh, private uh, members here. Like one is the private variable and another one is the private method. And there are two public methods as well. So now if I just go to the program.cs file, if I want to access these members, I can just say car as new car and let me add the reference of this car and i'm also going to say car dot uh, get car color in the console dot right line like this and if i try to run this code you will notice that i am going to get the uh, car color as red over here so i'm just going to say car details uh, and i'm going to write one more console dot right line to get the car model, then I could be able to do that as well. But now the next question naturally comes is, how can I access the private members? So this is what we are gonna be discussing in this particular video, right? I mean, all these days we couldn't be able to do that. I mean, we can do that in the reflection of C-sharp.net, but I'm not gonna tell you about the reflection directly. Rather, we will see the new feature of the .NET 8 itself. So all you have to do it in here is, you need to create a caller class, which is going to really does this calling of the car itself so i'm gonna create another probably in this particular class file itself because it is just going to be exposing the members of this particular uh, car so i'm just gonna say public abstract of class with access internal something like this so this is the class which is going to access the internals of the class and then i'm going to say public static and i'm going to use an keyword called as extern and then i'm going to say string of get method of car so this particular method while it's exposed as extern which means now you you have the ability to uh, reference this particular method this particular get method to get some details out from this particular car type well now it's not over yet not just the external keyword is going to help you for that but you also need to do or use an attribute called as unsafe accessor so this unsafe accessor is the one that i was just showing you on the 
web page over here so this attribute and then i need to say what kind it is so basically i'm going to tell that this unsafe accessor kind is a method and i can also specify the name of that particular method which is going to be the car internal details as you can see over here this one this underscore car internal details is the method that i'm trying to access using this get method that i have got over here and i need to pass the type of car so that i can access the method from that particular type and now i'm going to go over here then i'm going to say console dot right line access internal access internal of the get method of cars and now if i try to execute this you will see the magic that it is going to reveal you the internal details of that particular class file and it tells that never revealed to anyone but it is revealed at the moment and the same thing you can do it for the variable as well all you have to do it is you're just gonna write the unsafe accessor of the field the kind is going to be a field and the name is going to be internal versioning which is this one and i'm just going to uh access it something like this so i think the we need to rename this to internal versioning like this and i'm gonna access this over here uh and now i can just go and i can write the console dot write line of get field method and now if i try to run this you will notice that i could able to get the internal field as well the data of the internal field as well so this is how we can get the private members of a class file in c -sharp .net much much easily uh, so the quiz that i have asked over here in the polling is actually i have not mentioned in dotnet 8 or something like that but i just mentioned c -sharp .net because c -sharp .net, uh, because dotnet 8 has released like a couple of uh, weeks before uh, and at, right now this particular question is quite relevant because now that you have got this particular feature so once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one of the most interesting c sharp.net quiz